Hey, what's up, Lee Ron here. Thank you for joining me in today's video. If you remember in the latest live stream, I told you about an upcoming auction uh, that I've had here for seven paintings, selling them locally. I actually wanna share uh, the auction results and how it went down. Uh, I think this may uh, be interesting to people who are uh, interested in selling their own paintings in this kind of a format, which is a common fo format. Um, and just show some of the results. Uh, overall, it went really, really well, I think. Um, and the person running the auction house as well. Uh, I got basically good feedback, so I'm happy about that. Um, I will uh, run this video. There's also a video feed and actually someone, you know, talking and uh, explaining, uh, talking about the art piece and taking bids and all of that was very uh, quite professional and you know running really well I'm gonna speed it up uh, to my first painting uh, that was there it was tarp um, I'm sorry that I recorded it in the Hebrew version so I could have probably done it in the English version too but uh, in any case you can see I believe this the bid that was placed there was uh, 120 an early bid so there what you see there there's there are early bids on the paintings um, to the left there, like right here, you can see all the art pieces, the items and the numbers next to them, then the painting, then uh, there's a chat and there's some, you know, uh, the bids. Now the main one now is 160 and uh, it's, you know, it slowly increased. It started with 120 and people. it was the first painting of mine in this auction and she was explaining about it and about me as an artist. And she was really kind to me, by the way, and really um, showing a lot of, I think, uh, good things about me, super grateful for that. Um, and then slowly you'll see the bids starting to come in. Um, if we uh, fast forward just a bit, yeah, 170, um, uh, 180. Uh, this is, a, this is uh, one of the smaller pieces there, uh, but I'm quite happy with it. I th think it ended on 240, if I'm not mistaken, 260, maybe it was 280, I don't even remember now. Yeah, okay, so it ended on 280. Uh, the initial price, again, I told you a bit about it, but let me actually track back a bit. Um, the initial prices were relatively low and it was done on purpose to entice people to bid. And because people here don't know me locally, I, I mostly sell via my existing platform, you know, YouTube, Instagram, etc., and the gallery online. When you turn to a new market, uh, things work a little differently and uh, adjustments need to be made. And you're almost starting fresh in some ways, unless you're highly established, of course, uh, in other places. Um, and so the f the initial prices, uh, they told me they're going to be relatively low because it's the first time we want to entice bidders. So for this one, I believe it was 120, then it ended at 280. I mean, I couldn't have been happier. Uh, you know, some of these paintings I didn't even plan on selling, so it's not like I would... Uh, would have sold them uh, for a higher price. I wouldn't even sell them. Uh, here's a great example for one I wouldn't have uh, thought of selling necessarily. Uh, this one's called um, uh, scaffolding, pigumim in Hebrew. Uh, and this one started at, I don't remember the initial price, but it went up quite a bit, started about 220, 200. And then if we uh, let the video run, and again, they were talking and explaining about the pieces. I did not capture the audio and it's in Hebrew anyway, so it wouldn't really help here, but it goes up to 40, 280, uh, 320, and it ended at uh, some th something around that. We'll see now in a second. Um, very grateful for that. Also quite happy. This was a, a bit of a larger piece. Uh, so it's it's a great, great price. Uh, let's move on to another one. A lot of these are great paintings. I actually know some of the artists here locally. Um, so yeah, uh, this is the biggest gap, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. And then we get to uh, Palazzo Contarini. Uh, this was a painting I painted after I knew I'd be in uh, this auction. And I was kind of gathering good pieces of art and I felt like doing another uh, rooftop one. I've covered it extensively here. Uh, I think the initial bid again was uh, the pre-auction bid was 180 and we're going to see how this one runs. Um, if you're trying to get into these kinds of, um, you know, auction houses and sales, uh, it's really good to me. I knew one of the artists presenting here with beautiful, beautiful paintings and um, they made a connection for me. Um, and, and because I have known them for a while and they have a Facebook group and I uh, was active there and I, I'm always at awe at how well they managed it. It's a pretty big Facebook group for drawing especially uh, and painting. 
Um, let's uh, fast forward just a tiny bit here. Uh, so now it's on 260. <coughs> so I already uh, knew them really well. And so I got the recommendation and I think the art was uh, at the appropriate level. So it helps knowing other artists who already sell with certain auction houses, certain galleries, that could be a way of getting your art there. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, you'll end up maybe reaching out on your own. I think the best thing is to have actually a nice series. And when I say series, I don't mean necessarily the paintings need to be connected to one another, but they do um, need to show some kind of an artistic vision. Uh, it can really, really help to to have like a good five to ten, I would say, as a five as a minimum, maybe six, seven um just to show your style to show what you're about and have them be you know at the end of the day it will depend on the the um, auction house you know quality and style and all of those things uh but you want to at least be you know at the right quality for the place um and and i would for me personally it's like having my work objectively high quality if if such a thing exists you know um but yeah, that would be ideal for me. And, and I want to sell paintings that I can be really, really proud of. I think this one ended at around 400. Uh, yeah, 400. Uh, here's another beautiful, beautiful uh, oil piece. Uh, let's find the next one. So the next one, if I'm not mistaken, was uh, Shingles. There we go. Uh, I don't remember uh, what it started at. It was, I think the initial price was 120. Started getting bids pre-auction. Uh, this is a painting you've also seen quite in detail, you know, um, very, I think I was able to nail the details there. I painted those shingles individually one by one. Uh, and let's see where it ended. I'm going to speed things up a bit. Don't want to bore you too much. I think it ended at around, yeah, 340, I, th I believe. That was a really good one as well. This one um, uh, is smaller than the... Uh, the f or the same size of the first one, so it makes sense, actually. Um, so yeah, there, there's a bit of a break too, a bunch of really, really nice paintings there. Here's another one with the cherries and let's see. So this was a quite a big gap. Okay. Yeah. And then we get to, uh, the boss. So this is one of my favorites. This one started this. So now there's like a hundred people online. You can see, uh, right there. If you just take a straight line over there, you'll see participants in Hebrew 109. Uh, this one, uh, people started, you know, really being more active uh, and I'm quite happy. Initial price was, I don't remember, maybe 180, maybe 200. I don't remember. But uh, I believe it ended at a really decent price uh, as well. Uh, bids coming in. I I'm pretty much was told and I saw that for every painting, there was a bit of a bidding war. So that makes me happy. It means, you know, multiple people are interested. Um, and yeah, let's move on to the next one. The next one is the oldest one of the bunch here. Uh, it's a poly house view. Uh, this uh, nice painting. This one did not have an offer pre the auction. So out of the seven paintings I put there, six had offers and started uh, accumulating bids, some of them. This one in particular did not. So to me, just selling it is an, an extra 260. That's a big jump. Zero to 260 is bigger than 260 to 320, whatever. You know, so uh, so I was just looking to see if this one would sell. It is the largest piece here, 56 by 76, something like that. Um, and yeah, I'm quite proud of it. Got an offer, 260, and then the bid started uh, rolling in. Um, I would say... You know, I, there isn't too much to, that I can say recommend you do in order to get your paintings out there. At the end of the day, the art speaks for itself. If the art is good and solid and people enjoy it, uh, that's going to be a huge factor. The way you communicate with the potential customer or auction house is uh, very important. Um, I took a very humble approach. You know, I said that I'm going with your expertise the the initial price that you see fit i'm i'm putting my uh, art in your hands and there yeah there is some danger to that you don't want to be too complacent in a way because don't forget that auction houses the, the whole thing is they sell your art they take um, a big percentage sometimes um so that's an important uh factor and just something you want to be really cognizant of but in any case, this one ended at 360. And sorry for the weird light and atmosphere change. I had to take a break. And now the sun is no longer there. Uh, so yeah, let's move on uh, to... Uh, is it the last one now, I believe? I'm not sure. Yeah, okay. 
Uh, so we're at, um, I don't know why it says 180. That actually was a mistake. It was 440. Uh, that was the bid it was at um, in the beginning uh, of the auction. And then the offer started coming in. So we're at 600. Uh, this one, uh, should I just give you a spoiler? It ended at um, 700, if I remember correctly. 650, 700. Uh, and yeah, and that actually concludes all the paintings uh, that were uh, in this auction. So again, a great experience for me. Um, I think um, taking a step back and uh, working on building a new audience of collectors uh, and people who are aware of my art uh, is a very interesting direction. Uh, it is a completely different world, you know, the world of collections, uh, of collectors. It's not necessarily people who... Uh, look for their art. They may look at art online and social media, but they don't really look for art to purchase there. They uh, like to listen to um, auction houses and galleries that, that have a good name and, and have a good reputation. They know they can trust. It will provide them with um, high quality and good, good quality recommendations. Like that's an artist that's worth investing in and so on. Um, and I think a lot of it comes down to also finding your niche. Uh, so for example, if you ha you make a specific kind of art, it would make life much easier if you find a an auction house that works with uh, this kind of art, these kinds of artists. Uh, some auction houses, you know, they don't, they work with all mediums, but they work with a certain uh type of art uh, like this one works with all with all mediums and a variety of type of arts uh, cuckoo is is more from what I understand it's more um, younger artists but all sorts kinds sizes of paintings different media you know uh, sketches even uh, so yeah there's a lot that goes into that honestly I'm just you know taking my few steps into this world so I don't even know necessarily what more information could be useful so what I would encourage you is to leave a comment down below let me know if you have any questions about the process um, you know I did have to frame all of these paintings um, they were really confident in them usually they say wait until to see if, if you get pre-offers and then frame because framing costs money obviously but they were quite confident so I ended up framing all of the seven paintings in advance, which is an, another expense you need to think about. Uh, it wasn't too expensive, though. It was a good, good, uh, decent, very decent price for all of them uh, to be framed. Uh, so yeah, you know, there's a lot to think about. Um, I would say at first it, it is kind of an investment, so you may end up not making much money in the first auction for sure. But uh, if you think about it as a part of a longer process and trend, uh, there's a lot of upside there. So um, you know, you don't, really don't want to necessarily uh, be penny pinching um, in some things, right? You don't you don't want to end up um, taking advantage of, but uh, sometimes you do need to invest some money, not too much, uh, to make money uh, and to put your name out there. So yeah, these are my two cents once again. Uh, let me know your thoughts. I do want to thank everyone who supports me, everyone who watches these videos, everyone who comments. Really, really do appreciate it. Uh, be sure to check out Patreon if you want um, to be a part of what I'm doing. And I do want to thank everyone who supports me over there. Uh, anyone who supports me gets credit at the end of the video. So be sure to check that out. Uh, and yeah, let me know in a comment down below what questions maybe you have about the process, about everything. There were some really nice sales in this auction, some paintings that sold for... Uh, I think the top one, the top one uh, was twenty two hundred dollars. Uh, twenty two hundred, yeah, uh, two thousand two hundred dollars. <laughs> uh, that was a really, really good uh, piece of art. I, I'm not sure I have it recorded in the video, but yeah. Uh, so in any case, thank you so so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. We'll catch you in the next video. Until next time, take care.